What's up dudes, my name is Nick, welcome back for another music video reaction as I take a look at this brand new song from Ace, which is titled Take Me Higher. And of course, this is the group that is, uh, to my knowledge, the first group in K-pop, potentially in the history of ever, to bring the EDM style of, or the EDM genre, I should say, of hard style into the K-pop scene and... It is awesome. I, I think that this that that is really really great. So I'm very much interested and excited to check out this song to see what they have got. Um, so we're gonna do what I do in all of my videos here, and that is I'm gonna listen to the songs. So I can give you guys my honest first impression, thoughts, and opinions on it, whether I like the song or not. So if you're interested in hearing more stuff like that as I cover other K-pop releases in the future, then subscribe to the channel because there's plenty more where this video came from. So with all that being said, let's get the song started. Well, visually it's definitely a little bit of a different style for them. I feel a little bit of that hard style sound, just like very, very faintly in the in the like the percussion track of this song right now. Who that bass guitar? That's good stuff, dude. I like that. All right. I did. This song is groovy. This is the chorus. No hard style. All right. I can. I can get down with that. Okay. I'm really liking this song like a lot. This is a really, really fantastic song. It's such a it's such a groovy song, dude. It's so good. It's like groovy and of course it's it's, it's a smooth sort of song at the same time. Like this is good stuff. This is good, dude, and the cor and and I gotta say too, like the the choreo the choreo the choreography and all that stuff for this is also something that I'm really enjoying as well. A E C. Have I, have I been spelling the name of this group wrong the entire time? I don't think that's how you spell it, guys. Did they, did they misspell the name of this group in their music video? I think they might have done that. Oops. <laughs> That was a really freaking good song. That was really, really, really good. Of course, it's definitely, it is it is a song that is very much different from the other previous two, like, you know, title tracks, promo songs that Ace has released. But 
that is actually something that is really good because they could have done something, you know, maybe the hard, maybe the hard style thing was, you know, working for them, getting them attention. I personally would have really, really loved it if they continued with it. It have been well. I mean, I guess it, actually no. I, I wouldn't say that with any certainty, but it kind of does depend on just the you know how the song came out. You know, hard style is super, super cool. I really like listening to it. But at the end, end, end of the day, like if it's not in a good song or the song is not enjoyable to me, then hard style sucks in that instance. But you know, they didn't do it with this one. And you know, I'm kind of interested. Like, you know, what if what if they brought out the hard style or something like that for the chorus in this song, like. Could they have made it work? Could they have made it work? I don't think they could have, but it be, it would be something very, very interesting out there to, you know, hear if, you know, somebody out there who's a DJ could try and, you know, work something in there to make it make make it work. I'd be really interested in in hearing that. But, you know, to 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 go beyond just the fact that this is obviously a just big change in not only visual for this group, but also the audio side of things. Like, I, I'm i really, really digging the groove of this song. Like, during the verses and that, dude, that bass guitar and stuff that is that's that you can hear throughout the throughout that chord, throughout the verse, is, it's, it's great. It's really, really, really awesome. Super, super groovy, super awesome stuff like that. Um, and then I also just surprisingly really, really just like the, the enjoy the simplicity of of you know when they're just do, when they're just doing the single or the you know the piano chords just the chord and then the chord and then a chord and then a chord like doing that is for some for some reason like it's super basic it's not anything you know musically you know extravagant or complex or any, anything like that it's super basic it's kind of like what they teach you when you're first learning how to play piano but it it just it just worked it sounded really really good in the in the context of the, of the song and stuff like that like i think it it kind of set up the you know the, the chorus and the, and the more groovy parts with the, with the bass guitar and all that stuff up it, i think it kind of set up those moments in the song to be to be really really well i mean to be really really good to sound really really good to feel really really good um and and i think they just sort of served as a little bit of a a little bit of a well i guess a break so to speak or, or a way to kind of build up anticipation for something that is going to be you know really really cool that is coming afterwards and of course they delivered something that's super super cool um and then just one one final thing is that i think that this song this music video in particular like they work together really really well like the audio aspect of this of this song and the video aspect of the music video work really really well together to kind of just reinforce the the catchy parts or the you know like the melody of the chorus and other you know key moments in the song with a visual that is going to be kind of well I, don't, I wouldn't say difficult to remember but it's definitely going to be something that potentially some element of it sticks in your mind like the choreography that you see during the dur during the chorus is definitely something that has kind of got the melody of it stuck in my head because the chorus the 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 flowing of the choreography really does kind of you know just it's kind of like harmonizing vocals for the melody of the chorus except you know they're harmonizing with the movement of their body which is cool you know they, it, it feels like like that is basically you know as if somebody were singing harmonizing vocals with the with, with the with the melody of the chorus which is really really cool too so that's really all that I've got for this to say about this uh, about this song and this music video. So I want to know what you guys think. Let me know down in the comment box below. Don't be afraid to share whatever it is that you think. Whether you like this song or not, because this community that I'm trying to build here is all about having some free and open discussion about our thoughts and opinions, no matter what they are. So if you're interested in joining that community, click the subscribe button down below. And if you really want to, then click on the bell icon to turn on notifications if that is your thing. And one more thing, I want to thank everyone who may or may not be supporting me on Patreon um, because that's gonna, that does help me make more serious in-depth review videos. And uh, I'm just about to record my first listen of the brand new AOA album. So that will be available for patrons only if you want to check that out, if you want to listen to that and gain access to some other exclusive content that's going to be over there. Support the channel on Patreon if you want to. If you don't, then just watching the videos is perfectly cool. I appreciate you. 
just the same no matter no matter how you kind of support me so that's gonna be it for this video guys as always i'm gonna thank you for watching and i'll see you all next time